soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, ladies and gentlemen, the President and First Lady of the United States. Okay, everybody. Mr. President, sir, I will tell you that you look great in that suit, but there's something missing. Could I please ask the wing commander of the biggest, baddest, meanest C-130 wing in the Air Force, Colonel Bull Moss, to come out here? Go ahead, Bull. Just do it, no, just do it for the boss. Oh. Should I put it on? I like this better. You can have my jacket, just. Thank you, thank you, honey, thank you. Oh, boy, that's something. This is a great group of people. Thank you very much, and General Martinez, everybody, for your devoted leadership of our brave troops right here in Japan. And especially, thank you, especially, especially, to all of the incredible service members This is a short three minute film by the Department of Defense of an F-18 following a Tomahawk missile. So we've got a Tomahawk intercontinental ballistic missile. It's gone from an F-18 pursuing it to its target, a container ship, with the impact uh, captured by several cameras aboard the vessel by the Department of Defense. This is as presented by them, unedited.
Now, I'm not too sure if you noticed any um, any anomalies in that uh, in that clip. Well, I'm going to show you a few <laughs> that I've found. First thing you can notice is I've slowed it down to half pace, and um, until the uh, tomahawk actually gets out of sight um, just after the launch. And um, what you notice, of course, the first thing you notice is that the the uh, F-18 can't keep up with it. It's it's uh, falling way behind. And of course, the tunnel just goes out of sight. I'm going to zoom in on that. Okay, so it actually just, which I think goes out and just disappears. So, not being able to keep up with it, they put in an edit, <laughs> which is the first obvious thing. And it, uh, it goes to the first site of an impact, and, uh, and then to another edit. I'm going to repeat that, slowed right down, and there is a bit of a mark on the water, but the, um, the F-18 is caught up with this thing, <laughs> but you can see it's like a, it, and it's doing the same speed exactly as the F-18, there's the impact now, it's under the side, okay, I'm going to repeat it so you can have a look for yourself, you see that little white mark on the water, it's, it's what it is, it's a little white mark on the water. But notice where it actually hits the container. Which part of the container it hits or which part of it? There you go. You can make up your own mind about that. This is the um, next scene at full speed. That is fast. Okay. Now here it is again. But I've slowed down the actual approach now. That's coming at a rather funny angle. But what I'd like you to notice is the colour of it. I'll bring it back out again. Okay. It's a it's silver. It's got a yellow side. It's got a white nose and a red tail. Let's have another look. go again. White nose, silver body, red tail, oh, and the yellow side. Okay, this is the next scene. Okay, notice the colour of this one, if you can. It's got a black, it's got a red uh, circle around it, no white nose. And uh, this is the speed, in fact, that the original, this is the original speed of the, um, of the, of the clip. Okay, and so is this, and this is a, there you go, it's black, red, no white nose. Of course, it's hit a container, if you notice, that's um, not the rear container, as shown in um, uh, the previous clip. Here's it, here it is again. Okay, it's not hitting the rear container, it's hitting one, one quite up. Of course, you can see the F-18 just zoom by. Okay, I'm just showing this one again so you see which container it hits, which is number 19, the end container. Okay, and here we have now this other clip slowed right down, and uh, I want you to notice which container that it actually hits, and um, that it isn't the rear one, and that the tail's down, the nose is up, and of course it's a different colour. The F-18 is in a totally different position. It's, it's behind it. And uh, this is well entered. It'll probably come out the other side <laughs> before this uh, F-18 is even around the, the, the rear of the ship. The aft. And um, it's running rather slow, but I'll let it run to the end of the, um, 
end of the clip. So you've got a camera set up here in front of us by the looks of it. Uh, the next shot is a pan shot. It's the, um, it's the same. It looks like the same, but of course the you don't see the you don't see the F-18 in this one. That's coming up. So they've gone to a lot of trouble <laughs> to um, make you think that it's one aeroplane or one F-18 following one Tomahawk line missile. So here we go. It's black. Tails down, nose is up, it hasn't got a white nose, and it's got a red band. And of course it's hitting one, two, looks like maybe the third container up. And of course there isn't an F-18 in sight. Anyway. <laughs> so, once again, not a lot of trouble to convince us that, uh, that it's uh, following the one flight. Okay. I slowed this one right down because it's it's similar. It's, uh, it's looks the same shot, but this one has the F-18 in view. So it's like they've had several times, several attempts at uh, in these containers. Oh, that was fast. Sort of slowed right down. So there's the F-18 gone by. As well, that was that was fast. Maybe I've slowed down enough. Now look, because it was so 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 fast, I've repeated that. You see how <laughs> that was only like three frames. But there's the um, F-18 uh, flying by. That's how much editing was done. Now, if you notice, this, what we've got here is a <laughs> is another tomahawk. We've got one with a yellow nose, with a red band, and it's coming in with its nose down and its tail up. They've gone to an awful lot of trouble to make us think that we've got one <laughs> one tomahawk for the whole for the whole operation. When we've now got three. Well, here we are on the other side of the ship. There's your other camera. We've got the back camera view first. And um, once again, they're gonna try and, <laughs> I think, try and make us see that we've got two views. There's one. There's the first view. And um, we've got a nice sort of a brown, mushroomy sort of cloud there. And um, that's one of the Coming close now to the the next uh, camera position. This is the camera that's up front. Uh, that's supposed to be of the same shot. Of course, what we have is a darker shot. It's like it's taken at night time. Okay, with a a different plume. And uh, of course, I'll show you a bit later on. We've got different skyline as well. And it's obviously darker. It's a bit later at night. Well, here we go. We've got a a very different uh, <laughs> a different plume there, if you like. You can't see the missile even. It sort of stretches out of the. Um, you can't hardly see it at all. But and of course you've hardly got any movement in the ship. It's very very slight. You've got this bright plume that just stays there. It doesn't seem to move. And it's like a still shot almost, but it's definitely not, it's not definitely not the same, um, the same uh, shot that we've just seen. It's a different one altogether. And as you can see, it's it's static. I haven't slowed it down that much. But it's static. There's a little bit of movement in the plume, hardly any at all in the water. And of course, we're still actually actually on the back camera because there's the forward camera as we can see it. <clears throat> and of course, we're not coming through the very rear container too. We're on one of the more forward containers. We've gone to an awful lot of trouble to uh, convince us here, folks. So there's your there's your two camera views. And there's that one. Different skyline, different skyline, different time of day. Um, and what we're doing. <laughs> Anyway, here's the different uh, 
Very long, very well they be the one that we saw, which was the um, one with the yellow nose. So, <coughs> I say they've gone to an awful lot of trouble. To <laughs> when you see it all sped up, when you see it in the, in the, the pace that they put it in, you might well be convinced that what you're seeing is one missile attack on this one vessel, and, um, and that it's been photographed by the one F-18 as it approaches and then you've got these one two three four camera views now we've got to we're going to have another two camera views for the rear and, um, and they're going to be quite different from each other as well so what we have here is a fraud in the making <coughs> these things don't fly intercontinentally <laughs> they've even gone to the trouble of putting two birds on the back they, 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 those birds copped it They've gone, they're gone as those two. And if you notice the light angle in the rear, got a different angle now. And you've got two different pigeons, these are different birds. I'll show you. Two different missiles as well. That's it. <laughs> two different missiles, yet again. I don't know how many of these they've gone through. And there's a bit of debris inside the container. Okay. And they say they survived. Oh, how nice of them. I'm going to see if I can actually um, repeat those. Well, here we go. <laughs> these poor two birds. They actually replaced them. They've gone to the trouble of replacing these birds. And uh, look at the angle of the light coming into the rear of the container. Look how much movement there is in the container once it's hit. Look at the colour of the missile. It's, uh, got the yellow band, it's silver. Different. Those poor birds didn't make it. They're gone as those birds. Now, you can see that uh, white rod to the left of the container waving around the place. You can, <laughs> you can see uh, two. Now look at the distance. There's a pole up ahead there. I think in the next shot you might see three, I think. No, one, two, and three. And, uh, and it looks much closer because I think they've, they've moved containers around. Well, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> another two birds, another two pigeons. These are totally different pigeons. These ones survive. They do survive. There's some movement here before it even hits. There'll be less movement in the rod. The angle of the light coming in the back of the container has changed. The skyline has changed. <laughs> here we go. We've got another... This is a different missile altogether. Did you see the colour of it? I'm going to compare them at the end. Well, these birds seem to have made it. There's hardly any movement in that rod. The angle in the back of the, um, of the light is different. You'll see a bit of debris now appear on the inside, which wasn't there on the previous missile. We've, got, uh, we've now got quite a few missiles. The, there you go, there's a bit of debris that's uh, appeared. It's unbelievable that they've gone to this trouble to try and convince us that these things fly <laughs> um, intercontinental, <laughs> intercontinental ballistic missiles. They don't, I reckon they just work like modern cannons. That's all they do. The different angles that we've had them come in. The um, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a farce. It's a hoax. These things don't fly, they haven't got this great amount of control over them. They can't fly, they haven't got the um, the aeronautics that it needs to fly. You, know, you haven't got <laughs> you haven't got wings that you can move, you haven't got rudders, or you haven't got stabilizers. There's nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Okay, I've stopped it here so you can actually get a good look at the missile, so that you can Tell it's going to be totally different from the next one. They've actually got two different birds <laughs> because they've killed these two. Look at the skyline, it's a different skyline. 
Okay, I've already pointed out the shadow in the back of the container. It's a fraud. It's a total fraud. It's a total fraud. These guys are wicked. Right. Different colour missile, okay? Different birds. They've got two different birds. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable that they've gone to that trouble to get two different birds. It's a fraud. There aren't any missiles that can fly intercontinental uh, to, the, uh, to the range of 1,500 miles. It's a fraud. Okay? And the reason I've put the president at the beginning, I'll tell you in a, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay? <laughs> because the fraud goes deep. The circus goes deep. The acting goes deep. Okay? I'll stop it there. Okay. Yes, they're liars. Um, what we've got coming up is an aerial shot, okay? The F-18, if it's following them, because there's no other aeroplanes in the sky, is on the other side of the ship. It's in front of the ship now. And if you can see an approaching missile in either of these shots, I'm not going to bother slowing them down, okay? Can you can see an approaching missile hit these containers? You've got better eyes than I have. Look at the trouble. You will not find anywhere on the internet any photographs, any um, video, any film of these things flying. Okay, unless it's in Hollywood. <laughs> There's the end containers. <laughs> Department of Defence, you should be ashamed of yourself, and so should Trump. I'll tell you why. Um, these um, documents uh, have been spreading around social media and the internet, talking about the arrest of um, some evil people that have run America over the last many years, like uh, Hillary Clinton. Tester and many others who should be in prison. And um, these uh, documents were talking about what it would take to do it, and it might take the military. Well, I think that's a, uh, a dangerous thing to do. If, uh, if for any reason it would seem that you would need your military on your streets in America. You've lost, and um, because well, I've already shown you one lie that they take. The whole world believes that they can fly these missiles for for, <laughs> for a thousand five hundred miles. They can fly. Now, we've got a, he's also prepared to tell lies. Okay, he's prepared to sort of. doesn't know places like ISIS uh, aren't <laughs> homegrown from the CIA. And we've dealt ISIS one brutal defeat after another and it's about time. It's true. We dominate the sky. We dominate the sea. We dominate the land and space. 